welcome today I will be customizing this top for Fedora suite uh, design suite uh, it's a pretty good uh, set of software that used by designer and artist comes become installed out of the box first let's look at what it comes with as you can see these are after fresh install comes with the browser Firefox uh, it comes with Firefox and Chromium GIMP uh, it comes installed with it so you don't need to go and look for it and install it also it comes with duck table it comes with Inkscape Blender and other ones that I'm not familiar with as you can see here is the all software that they come with uh, it comes with Audacity Blender as we saw earlier Chromium um, and others uh, there are three views as you can see here about six well about 24 icons there 24 48 you can see here LibreOffice and other software there's maps and even a to view list you can use so that was a brief uh, overview of the software that's come installed with Fedora suite now what I will do, I will actually customize this top and maybe look more familiar to a Windows user than a Linux user. Uh, the first thing we can look, look for software and then open it and search for Tweak Tools. Tweak Tools basically doesn't come installed out of the box, so you have to install it. Uh, take a second, a few seconds to install and it's installed as you can see I installed this earlier so uh, let's just remove it so I can show you the process um, now we can just search for it just by just type tweak tools and then it will appear you just hit enter and you'll see it so as you can see that windows minimize and maximize uh, enabled them earlier uh, and you can basically enable them and disable them from there. So I'll just change it to dark. I like this theme. I will change the the icon. Let me just show you the icons. They come by default. Uh, there's nothing wrong with them. I like them. They kind of match with the background nicely. But to me, they are pretty old. I, I think they look the same to me like what they used to look in early 2000s. So they just uh, basically check uh, breeze icons, they are pretty good. I like them, they look uh, much nicer. Um, they are even, uh, you can see they change a little bit, even the the breeze uh, dark. Uh, I don't think that there is a difference, but. I don't know honestly what's the difference, uh, but I'll just keep breeze. Doesn't doesn't really matter that much. Okay, let's just close out of this and uh, we need to install Dash to panel to move this uh, menu from the top to the bottom so we look for softwares again uh, and then look for uh, dash to panel so basically install this will automatically uh, look at the menu how it looks like after you install it so just click install and then confirm and you can see it's installed and enabled automatically and even it's kept setting from earlier the opacity to about 35 percent as you can see this uh, menu looks a little bit better than it used to be but we can search probably for arc uh, menu it's uh, much better for uh, windows user it look more familiar like start button for window let's install this one real quick um, yeah it, it should take uh, a few seconds 
Okay, it's installed and it's enabled automatically. So as you can see, it looks more familiar to other users that we use Windows now. Let's just close out of all this. Then we can change the background probably. Let's first open the tweak tools and then go to extension. You can actually um, customize any one of these extensions that we just added. You can see we added only three extensions, but they don't come by default. Um, Test to panel, you can just increase the opacity from style uh, back to 40, and then we can just close it. Okay, let's just close out of this. Let's go change the background image. And by the way, the background image will, uh, will change automatically after you select one. It's uh, basically a cycle. Uh, it's kind of like a slideshow. Each time you will see a different image. I will see this one, a lighthouse uh, image. Looks nice, dark and blue and pretty pleasing to look at. As you can see, now it looks much better and more familiar to other users about uh, Windows users or, you know, even Mac users, they, it, looks, it looks very, very familiar. And this is the home page for Fedora. When you open your browser, it's going to direct you to this. Uh, you can read about it, learn. These are some articles you can read and learn about it. So now just close it. And hey, thank you for watching this video. Uh, appreciate it. Like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day. Bye.